grand finale. Can we finally Sterling see? Silver. Okay. So they stored the sterling silver. Everything else has been labeled exact on. So we have no reason to doubt that this thing isn't filled with sterling silver. Cricket RC helicopter, the Steve new 25-inch powered Cricket. Check this out, World War One scale. Oh, what? oh. <laughs> engine, 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 engine. This is absolutely oh. insane. This is incredible. Oh this is the biggest train score we've ever had. And remember, we'll do a whole nother video on it because there's just too much. This unit has is, been yeah, amazing. The gift that keeps on giving. And I'm dressed like it's winter. Uh, <laughs> we didn't tell anybody about the box we found in the back, did we? No. We Should didn't. I show them? Yeah, show them. Every box that we have found has, has been, been labeled. labeled and correct. This is a giant Home Depot box labeled Sterling Silver. And Do you think we should dig into it? Well, let's do this little box first. They're going to have okay. to wait to see. Well, there, you're going to have to wait to see how much sterling silver is in here. And our friend Ken is coming to go through all the trains with us yeah. too, isn't he? Yes, he is. So he's going to help us put a value and organize the whole trains that we found. We were scared to actually get into all the boxes, but let's see what we have here. What's this say? This one's labeled taps. What do you think that means? It means tap taps, on it. And then yes. Tap it three times, you get a wish. Right, What's in it? Let's see. Oh, yes, wow. yes, 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 more. Look at that. You know what this is? Look at this. This Pencil. is an, babe, this is an actual, that's an engine. This is a flyable. Oh, man. This, this, this is just amazing. Do you think the remote will be in here? Uh, that I don't know, but There's I know. Some to something. Is that a harmonica down there? Where? Right here. <laughs> Your eyes oh, saw correctly. Oh man! Oh, give it to me. That Come reminds on. me. That Babe. reminds me of the little harmonica we found when we cracked. I don't. Safe. I think there might be more than one. Oh, here, here, one? here, here, here! I'm going to play you a song. Okay. Let me take my gloves off. You ready? Yeah. Are you sure you want to put your mouth on that? <laughs> Two beautiful things. Jeremy playing the harmonica and the sun setting. See the sunset, babe? <laughs> that song was for you. You know what I call it? Nice. My Egyptian starfish. Should I start playing the harmonica during our Sunday live Q&As while you strum the guitar that's the m honer <laughs> it's the echo but i don't think this is the only one because i see some other one in here i see some yes there is <laughs> oh wow this, this one one's changes really keys nice. all right so some of these old harmonicas can be worth a lot of money special yep wow. oh my goodness i can't believe this unit the chrome etta <sighs> this one's made in germany Maybe they're all made in Germany. Oh, man. Look how cool. Babe, we might have a couple hundred dollars right here. Let me put this one back. We're going to have to check them. Somebody was a serious harmonica player. They were a model, lover, train, everything. Okay, this is a Shure microphone. Okay, so Shure is a microphone company. This is going to be old school. I love Let's this see what's unit. In there. It's there. There you go. There's the antique Shure microphone. That's got to be worth something. Yeah, we're going to use that. That's going to be our new microphone for the live Q&A. For sure. Do you get it? For sure. Do you get it? <laughs> I said for sure. Do you get it? <laughs> yeah, I get it. Oh, you get it now? Yeah. Dad jokes. Man, I love them. Dad jokes. <laughs> what is it? An alarm clock radio. 
Someone mentioned, I mentioned that I was either getting sick or I was allergic to you. Mm -hmm. And someone mentioned that they are, that I'm probably allergic to your bad dad jokes. Oh, okay. It's in there. I'm allergic to you laughing at the dad jokes. <laughs> there we go. About what? Look at this. Is that more? This is the oh, old realistic. transistor radi radios. And look at this. This one has a clock. Wow, my grandpa used to have these for listening to the Cleveland Indians. This is just incredible. I love it. W O I O 19. My, my baby's here. Huh. Interesting. And you've been in labor for over six years. And Very sure interesting. Do you think? Do you think maybe they were involved in television? I don't know. Have I told you how handsome you look today? No, you never tell me that. Well, I just told you. Oh, I thought I was waiting for you to tell me. <laughs> and you know what else I'm waiting for? To get into this sterling silver box. Are you ready? Yeah. You? Okay, yeah. come on. Except we're not doing it yet. It's labeled storage. <laughs> so here's the crazy thing. This is an old box. It's labeled storage, but they have like newer duct tape on it. So let's pull. Okay, so we got, we got double, double layer tape. Okay. Everything in this unit has just been amazing. It's been pretty awesome. Yeah, I'd say. And then some. Here's a jewelry box. Nice. Oh my goodness, if we find jewelry, we, we definitely... There's got to be jewelry This here. is definitely an affluent family for sure. Look at this. Look at that. Little Dutch porcelain shoes there. This must be like the knick-knack china cabinet yeah there's another you know what we haven't found yet is many collectibles that we found in this unit we haven't found collectible money so collectors a lot of times they collect money too we have not found money but that doesn't mean we're not going to this is a porcelain napkin rings. no those are napkin rings there you go so somerset napkin rings let's see Mirrors. Oh, are we gonna let our viewers know how beautiful they are? Sure. You are so beautiful to me. Did you guys see yourself in the reflection? And you see. <laughs> All right. Uh, more mirrors. More mirrors. There's definitely a lot of mirrors in here. I see. Lots of here's tissue something. paper. Here's something. Here's an old, is this a Zippo? This is a Robinson. Here's an old Robinson. Robinson? Robinson. I don't think Caruso. Or not Robinson. Ronson. Ronson. Sorry, not a smoker. <laughs> not not hip with all the smoking ling lingo. All right, Ronson. There's, there's some stuff in here. What is this? What is that? Uh, images of life. Some type of wax figure? Handcrafted in the hills of Galilee. Design. Okay. All right. So here's the one thing. We did go through personal pictures. We know they went to Israel. And here they have, here's something that came from Israel. Images of life handcrafted in the hills of Galilee. So this may be some of the actual souvenirs that they brought home from their trip to Israel. They were extremely religious and anybody who is in the Christian faith knows that Galilee, Jerusalem, Israel, extremely important. Let's see if these are more. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's beautiful. Is that made out of wax or plastic? No, it's, uh, it's made in China. It's like a porcelain. Yeah. It looks waxy from nope. the viewfinder. Nope, but I bet we're going to have some really neat collectibles in here. Look at that. That's Oh, that's gorgeous. Baby, that looks like me and you. That's somebody's cake topper. Sweetheart, she looks Egyptian. <laughs> that looks like you. That looks like me. I'm all, You know I'm the darker one. Except I'm not that tall. And I'm... Yeah, you're right. You're not. <laughs> you're right. Look at that. Some really cool, some really cool collectibles. Okay. Oh, here's another one from the from the galley. I bet you 
Maybe it's wood. I don't know. I don't want to open it. You might keep these. This would be really neat. Here's another, here's another figurine. These are beautiful. Look at that. Uh huh. That looks like a duplicate. Oh no. No, no, Those no, no. no. This is girls. a different one. Two little girls. And that one's from China as well. Okay. Let's see, these feel like, like, um, oh, there we go. Look at that. Very cool. Hmm. Uh, these feel like, these two over here feel like, like tissue boxes. Mm -hmm. Still look like a cake topper. Mm -hmm. You want me to save this? Mm -hmm. For us? <laughs> baby, 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 baby. You're my Egyptian starfish. And if a mannequin can get married and have kids... But I don't, we don't, we already agreed we don't want kids. You have a 20 year old, yeah. I have a 20 year old. If a mannequin, we don't can want to start all over. I'm just saying, there's hope for all of us if a mannequin. <laughs> if a mannequin could get married, a Jeremy could be able to get married someday. Someday. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> Another one. And he's back. Yes, it's, I am. I, I mentioned yesterday we had to get my buddy Ken here. Yeah. So You told me you had a killer train collection. So Did you believe me? <laughs> not, not to this extent, no, but so, I did believe you. So it's even better than what you thought it was. Oh, yeah, a lot better than okay. the last haul. So. Ken has actually, if you look, we've got tables out everywhere. Okay, Ken has tables set out everywhere. And he's going to walk us and talk us through some of this stuff. He's been working for the past couple hours through all of this. So what do you got to show us, Ken? All right. First two tables are nothing but HO scale stuff. This box here, I counted, there's about 37 cars in there. Some of them still in the boxes. Oh, the old planter's peanuts right there. Look at that Tyco shell. Wow. And a lot of it is either Tyco or the AHM, both. Tyco wasn't the best company. AHM was a little better. They had some nice stuff. A lot of it in the box. So if you had to put a value just on this box, what would we be looking off the top of your head? 37. I'd say times five per car. So probably $150 just that box. Okay. What else we got? This is nothing but engines here and then some passenger trains. This is a whole set except the tenders missing. So if somebody was interested in that, all they'd have to do is find a tender to go with it. And it comes with the box. Now, did we did we pass up something special over here yeah, on the these corner? Are, these are pretty slick. These are Panagraph buses. This one here is from Japan. You can see on the yeah, bottom. Made in Japan. And it runs off the overhead wires. And this one's from Germany. I have never seen anything like these two this before. First, I've seen pictures of them, but I've never seen them in... You've your never life, seen right? one in Touching. person. Yeah. Okay, so there's two of these. Neither of us have ever seen one and in I, person. You know, I, I can't even guess on the price on that. Yeah, we'll have to do some searching on that. So, so let's just take a peek at some of this stuff. How cool. Pennsylvania Railroad. Got Union Pacific. Oh, what do we have back here, Ken? That's a big mallet. Or wow. mallet. Whoever, however way you want to I don't think it. he ever had it out of the box, did he? Yeah, he probably did. You think he did and then yeah. just put it back? Yeah. Wow. Wow. And then you got Santa Fe passenger cars, Pennsylvania passenger cars. Wow. Yeah, this is... This is the best railroad find we've ever come across, Absolutely. and it was on accident. Yes. <laughs> oh, you found my puzzles. This is a box of puzzles that <laughs> Jeremy called them. <laughs> and I told him, in a way, you're correct. You do have to put them together. But the difference between these puzzles and a regular puzzle is these have instructions on how to put them together. But there's just, just on and on. Most of them are already put together, but there's some in here that haven't even been opened yet. Yeah, they're still sealed. Still sealed. So we got a lumber yard, an office building. We've got a home. 
Yeah, there's we get multiple lumber yards, huh? Yeah. Yeah, there's just a lot of cool stuff. A lot of cool stuff. Passenger station. Yeah, this is just some of these that have the actual in it. Yeah. Could go anywhere from yeah, uh, five to ten bucks. I got a full box of them. Very, very cool. This is the second table of HO stuff. Here's one whole box. It's just nothing but track. It is all brass. Some people don't like brass. Some people do. But brass gives us some insight as we profile. What does that tell us about his collection? It means his collection is older. Exactly. So. Yes. So that's good news. We, we like older collection. Look at all this brand this is, new track. Yeah, this is all brand new track and uh, scenery stuff that he had this is a bunch of scenery stuff in here in this box yeah wow is this is this the same thing as that track that's all track all all brass track all Look brass at that. Just loaded yeah loaded wow there are switches <laughs> wow this, this is kind of neat this is a a military train. The only thing they don't oh, have is the, a military engine for it. They got do, they cannons, do have one for it. Cars, trucks on the flatbeds. I mean, this is just very cool. So all we're missing is the engine. Yeah. To have a and you train. and you did go through everything, right? Yes. Yep. Yes, yeah. So somewhere out there, there's got to be an engine. And from here on up, this is all a circus train. The flatbeds with the carriages to put on them. Circus life. Look at that. This These is are so just cool. odds and end cars. He really liked ore cars. He's got double double cars in each box except for one. The best part is he does have the boxes. Like a ton yeah. of this stuff is boxed still. Yeah. I mean, yeah. That, that that makes it nice. Collectors love it that keeps, way. Keeps stuff from being broken and stuff. This table looks amazing over here. Wow. Yeah. This is the creme de la creme as this, far as your train haul right this here. Is, this is where it's at, huh? This is, this is all American Flyer stuff. Okay. The only thing I, I haven't found was track for it. So no, no track for no this track scale. No track for this. He had plenty of Lionel track, but no, no S gauge track. And this is, and you said this whole table is American Flyer, right? Yep. So just look at this. Wow. Wow. We when we were finding boxes inside the unit, I was just I was overwhelmed. I couldn't believe it. I'd never seen such a collection. Like we get we get train stuff all the time, but to this volume, yeah, nothing like this. Anything special on this table? Uh the one thing I liked was the uh, the royal blue. Here's the three passenger cars, and here would be where you've got two royal blue engines. Yeah. Either one would pull that. And you mentioned these cars up here. These two are tin plate, which would make them older. If you had to guess, just if you had to guess, what do you think on age? 40s, maybe? 40s. Well, everything was wrapped in paper though too, right? Yeah. Okay, so there I is mean, a, there are parts missing, but there's a there's a pile of paper back here. It was actually layered. What was the date on the paper? Oh look at there, right there. There's one right there. Tuesday, April twenty sixth, nineteen sixty six. Wow. That'll take you back. <laughs> that will take you back. This is just... And any any of this American Flyer stuff can be earlier than that, even. I mean, that's just what he wrapped it in. This is just... this. It's amazing. I yeah. Once Ken put it all out on the tables like this, you, you start to actually see what you actually have. There's another table down here, isn't there? Yes, there is. We better, let's go take a peek down this here. Is, uh, the Lionel stuff that he had. So, some stuff we're showing you that's cool to show. Some stuff... You know, you've seen things like it before, so we've set it aside. Ken's done a great job of actually sorting everything. He's been at it for about two hours now, plus. 
So this is all Lionel. It's missing the tender for the engine. Uh, some parts are broken. This is missing a, a little turn wheel like this on the back. And there's some support pieces for the crane. For the crane? Yeah. And this one's got some broken pieces. The chimney jack, smoke jack, and the corners broke off. But so that could, they, These could be... Some of them are good. Some can be used just for parts if, if someone needed parts. So. Is Lionel the most collectible, in your opinion? Is that what everybody wants? Yeah, pretty much. My or Lionel and American Flyer. And American, American Flyer. Yeah, those two. Wow. Okay. So this is a whole box of track plus three switches. And that's that for and that's for the Lionel, right? Yes. Okay, so there had to be some stuff that you just went, whoa, yes. I need that in my collection. Yes, there are did, a few things. Did you set some things aside? I did. Oh, I found his box. Okay. I box. We got to know. We got to know. That's a B&O steam. I've got some B&O passenger cars. I've been wanting a steam engine to go with it, even though I do have some diesel. There we go. Norfolk Western. That's similar to the one that was on the first table that you looked at. Wow. There's a Pennsylvania. Here's another B&O. A little tank switcher. How cool is that? And then this stuff was just more or less scenery stuff. Scenery. This had... Oh, we saw that tin and we didn't open it. I'm yeah. just curious to just find... It oh, had... It had... All kinds light bulbs of and stuff like that. And pieces yeah. and... That's cool. I was curious what was in there. And then this here. This has got light poles and cars and stuff. Everything, huh? Wow. So, so this collection exceeded your expectations. Yes, it did. So, so next time I call and I say I have a collection, you're going to be like, "Well, is it better than this one?" <laughs> and, and this one's going to be this one's going to be the collection that the everything collection. else is compared to. Yeah. They're either deaf or they're just yelling at each other. She hears a bunch of workers over there, which yeah. you can't see. It echoes, baby. <laughs> just like when you All do right, the do your now... do your Egyptian. <laughs> Now they're going to each other. That chick is either deaf or she's yelling at that ruggedly handsome man. All right, and now for the grand finale. Can we finally sterling see? Silver. Okay, so they stored the sterling silver. Everything else has been labeled exact on. So we have no reason to doubt that this thing isn't filled with sterling silver. Um, I'm bad. I don't have a knife tonight. And we're in the warehouse, and she doesn't have a knife. We're surrounded. We're surrounded by boxes in the warehouse. Um, Why she's fighting with that? Here's the warehouse. Here's everything we just did with trains with Ken. It's freezing outside, so we're trying to do the unboxings inside. And there's there's just a portion of where everything goes. So let's go back. You got it. Okay. How's it look? I'm gonna do this without gloves. Well, she has very sensitive skin. The only thing she can wear with jewelry is... Sterling. So, we're okay. <sighs> oh, okay, she just took this whole padded thing off. My heart is starting to pump, is yours? Is it? Yeah, when you took that whole thing off, it looks like they're hiding an entire thing. Check this out, you think that's silver? Well, you gotta look at the bottom, sweetheart. Here, take the glass out. Yes, I think it's silver because they labeled it. But I think it is too. Please be. Please, please, There's a please. Marking down there. Silver plated. Okay, this is. So then now there's a, a blanket. Wait, wait, wrapped. let me show. Okay, you see silver plate right there? Silver plate Italy, so. <sighs> Italy? But that does There's a blanket wrapped in something? Yeah, so now there's okay. a ton of. Oh, come on! We could have thousands of dollars just in silver weight alone. Oh, wow. Ah, that looks like brass coming through. That's plated. You see this? See, see look. Where do you, look. Oh, yeah, you see this? See so they were rubbing it, so this was plated. 
This should have said sterling plated. Unless somebody knows something that I don't know. That looks like brass coming so through. Okay, wait, 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 let me see. She's she's getting excited too. Uh, something's broke. Something broke there. Okay. I mean, there's potential it could just need a really deep cleaning, but that really looks like brass coming That's through. That's definitely not silver. All right, set that aside. Oh, oh, man, there's something else wrapped in here. There has got to be silver in here. Why would they label it silver and there not be actual sterling silver? I think we're getting to it. I think we're definitely getting to it. I, oh, cool. I, okay. Mrs. Fumble Nuts is striking. Wouldn't that be Ms.? Ms. All right, there is a label. It's right, right there. What does it say? Silver plated. All right, yeah. come on, come on. They can't have everything. There's got to be some sterling silver in here. This one, I don't see anything, any marking. Why would they keep it in here if it wasn't actual sterling silver? I don't see any brass or copper coming through. Usually it's copper or brass. Okay, this just looks like it needs cleaned. This might be... See, that just looks like stained silver. Mm. You're going to find the markings on the bottom. I don't, I'm either going blind or I don't see it. She's always blind. <laughs> okay, there is no marking on this one that I can find. And so I think... Design. Wait, you see the rubbing here? See that? Oh, she just found one over here. What's the marking say? It looks foreign to me. Baby, you're foreign. Okay, I don't know either. Oh, come on. I know there's got to be some solid silver in here. Why label it? Everything else. Holy heavy. Please be. Please be solid sterling. Please be solid sterling. This feels like two pieces. Yeah. It is. Man, alive, if this is solid. You can see the patina for sure. So you see the discoloration, the patina here. This. All right, tell me, what do you think in the comments below? Is this solid sterling? Or is this plated? Because from my eyes, which are messed up, Admittedly so, I am colorblind. I cannot see like the regular person sees. So I have to make all of these guesses based on bad eyes. This looks not plated to me. And this... Did you just pull this out of there too? I don't think... I don't think this is even plated. I, I'm not sure why that was in there. I'll have to clean that up. Now that, that looks probably plated. Should be on the bottom. There's a marking. Okay, we have a marking, but... It means nothing to me. Okay, that looks like a handle that probably broke off. So she just threw it over there. We didn't get to see it, but now we see it. And we have... We're going to turn it around. We have... Made in, if I get too close, England. E P N. Okay, so electroplated there. And. Silver plated, maybe? No, silver on copper. So that's, that is plated. So that's silver on copper. This box, there's got to be sterling. You can't label a box sterling. So yeah, that's that. copper again. You can't label an entire box sterling silver and not have a solid piece of sterling. They were, they were, everything else was so perfectly labeled. What do we have? We have... 8198, I see that. The Silver Company. International Silver Company, 8198. 
Okay, we got a few more pieces. I know there's going to be a solid piece. Oh, a sticker's gone on that one. I see a marking. Where? Chippendale. Where? She says she sees something that says Chippendale. Mm -hmm. Baby, what you doing talking about Chippendale? What do you know about <laughs> Chippendale? I don't know anything. That's what I just read. Better not know anything about Chippendale. Ch -ch -ch Chippendale. Oh, you can know about them, rescue the Rescue Rangers. Rangers. Yeah. I don't see any markings on this. Definitely needs polished. That needs a good polishing. Even if this is just silver plated, I'm still thrilled with this entire unit. This entire unit has been so incredible. Mm -hmm. Any markings? Right there. Oneida. Okay, so I see Oneida Fiesta. right there. You see Fiesta? Yeah. Where? Fiesta. And there you go. Fiesta Oneida LTD. All right, here it is. This one looks solid. This is it. If it's solid, we got about $2,000 worth of silver here. And we're going to polish it, it and we're going to turn it into a mirror. I don't see any copper coming through anywhere. Yeah, I don't see any markings. That was a sticker. I don't see any copper coming through anywhere. There's a little bit of patina here. Again, my eyes aren't as good as everybody else viewing. I don't see color the way that you see it. So flip it around. I have to guess based on my eyes and what I normally see. I see patina. That's all I see. I don't see any copper coming through. We're definitely going to have to get this piece checked. This potentially could be the piece that is actually sterling, sterling silver. silver.